this is like your down day, your chill day, you're not making too much effort and you're just like, yes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my autumn fashion edit. I think we are on day five right now. I'm kind of losing track, but I think we're on day five. Today I'm doing a River Island haul. As you guys know, River Island is one of my favorite high street brands. I just think it's so like reliable. Like I know if I just need something new, if I just fancy something new, I can go into River Island and they will definitely have something. Whereas I can't always say that about like Topshop, for example, even though I love it so much, I can't always like guarantee that there's gonna be something in there I like, but I feel like I can with River Island. And also today's haul, I feel like you guys are gonna really like because unlike some of the others where I was like trying out some new things, going a little bit outside my comfort zone, this haul is very much inside my comfort zone. Everything is really easy to wear um, and neutral and just like really casual everyday outfits that are not too like out there or scary. So yeah, I think you guys will really like this video, so don't forget that everything I show in the video will be linked down below in the description box. Please do subscribe if you're new here today and I say let's just get straight into it and get the first outfit on. So guys here is outfit number one. I think it is absolutely adorable. Like I said just before I feel like this is a really easy to wear just like casual cute autumn winter look you're not like trying too hard but it does look really really stylish i love this little top i actually ordered this from river island like at the start of august when they started bringing out all the autumn winter stuff because i thought it was really cute but then i sent it back because i was like no it's still summer i don't need any of this yet but i'm so glad that it's still like around and in stock because it's so adorable it's a little white like short sleeved knitted t-shirt and it has these really cute little pearl buttons like on the shoulders which is a really lovely detail and this is just the kind of top that you could wear endlessly and you would get so much wear out of and i just think it's really really cute also the skirt it's a really nice autumn winter color it's like a beige maybe slightly of a khaki-ish color but i do think the color is really nice because it's very versatile again if you like keep your autumn winter wardrobe very neutral it's so easy to mix and match actually everything in this haul is really neutral when i unpacked everything i was like oh my god it looks like i've just put a sepia tone over the bedroom because all the clothes are kind of in this um color scheme but it's just really really helpful to do it that way because then you can make the most out of your wardrobe and mix and match everything so anyway back to the skirt I think the design is really cute. It's kind of like a, you know that material that's a bit like army uniform, like cargo shorts. And I really like it because it kind of has the structure of denim, but I don't really like denim skirts, but it has more structure than like a soft, flippy skirt, if that makes sense. Um, and I also really like the uh, peplum hem. I think that's a really cute feminine detail and it just like adds something to the look. And I just think all the little details like that really make the outfit because it is quite plain, but then you've got the cute details like the peplum, the belt, the pearls that kind of bring it to life. And um, I also picked up this bag. I only do bags and shoes very occasionally in whole week because it's just a minefield. There's too many and we'd be here literally for two or three weeks. But I did really like this one. It's a little crossbody. I mean, they've got the River Island print and I feel like River Island are kind of trying to make their RI logo print a little bit like the Gucci print, obviously on a budget, but I actually don't hate it. And normally like when brands dupe, you know, design a kind of logo or style, I don't really like it, but I just do like this. I think it's really cute. I think because River Island is so established, it's not like a random logo. And I just think this bag is really cute. It's very preppy. Again, I just love all the colors because you could just wear this with so many different things. And I just think it's very autumn and you could just go like this on a semi like warm day. And then of course, just like a trench coat over the top or something like that, or a nice warm jacket. Uh, when it's a little bit cooler. So yeah, I really, really love this outfit. It's just so easy to wear. I mean, yeah, you just cannot go wrong with an outfit like this. So definitely a good way to start the video. So guys, here is outfit number two. I really, really like this. I think it's so, so nice. It's a little sleeveless, like utility style play suit, but it's in like this really nice kind of satin fabric and this really cute beige color. And I just think it looks really effortless and cool, um, but still very chic. And I've just popped a little um, turtleneck underneath this. This is mine from Zara from last year, but they're so easy to find. You could essentially wear any color top underneath this play suit because it's such a neutral color, but I just think like a white or cream looks really nice because it just keeps the whole thing light. And in winter, all you see is people in dark colors. So any chance I get to wear something light, you know I'm going to take it. And I think this looks adorable. And I just love the whole like utility chic look. It's just very effortless and very casual, but it just does look really, really stylish. And this is just such a cute autumn 
outfit. Honestly, like I'm so fickle because I'm like, no, I don't want autumn. I don't want autumn clothes. I want summer forever. But when I put stuff like this on, I just think, oh my God, this is so adorable. And I can't wait to wear this. Yeah, another really good solid yet easy to wear outfit for you guys. Um, I really, really like this and I really want to keep it. Okay, so here is the third look and I, Okay, I like this dress. I'm not sure I really love this dress. Um, as you guys probably know, I do really, really like jumper dresses in autumn, winter because I just think they're a really nice, easy way just to look stylish and keep warm at the same time because sometimes it's quite hard to find that compromise. And I do think jumper dresses do that really well and they look really effortless but chic. Um, I'm just not sure I'm in love with this one. I don't hate it actually, but I just feel like maybe it's a little bit baggy. I think this would look nicer if it was maybe just slightly more fitted because it's kind of just giving you like a big, you know, you look like a big square. I really like the color. I love brown and I really love the gold buttons, especially gold and brown. I just think is so beautiful. Um, and I really like the sleeves too and how the sleeves fit. I think it is just this kind of like boxy fit. But having said that, I don't really hate it because, you know, with a pair of over the knee boots, it kind of just does look like a really nice, relaxed, like cozy dress that you just threw on and kind of made minimal effort, but it does look stylish and I do, Okay, the more I have it on, the more I do actually like it. I say this every time. And I suppose just with a nice bag, we're gonna automize the Freddy bag and some shades. Like you could just look so like off duty. I love that phrase when describing outfits. Like you're just off duty, you know, you're just chilling. This is like your down day, your chill day. You're not making too much effort and you're just like, yes. This would actually look so good with this bag and the white leather knee-high boots that I got from Zara at the beginning of the week. Don't you think that outfit would just look absolutely fab, and like the sunglasses? It would be kind of like 60s, off-duty film star. And now that I've put it like that, I really, really like this dress. I, this was always happens. I talk myself into liking something. So I started off not liking this dress too much, and now I love it. I want to go out and do a full-blown photo shoot in it. But what do you guys think? I'm converted. Look number four, and I'm going a bit cool for me. As you can see, this bit edgy with this cool top. I kind of feel a bit like Sporty Spice, but this top just really caught my eye because I just loved all the color combination. I love white brown or like cream and brown, and then the black just kind of added a little bit of like punch to it. And I just thought it was really eye-catching, although now I've got it on, like I'm not 100% sure that this top is very my style, but I just do think it's quite cool. It's a very strange fabric. It's very like a sporty fabric, but it's very nice and soft. And I like the fit and everything, and I do think it's a very cool top. Just not sure it's me. And um, the skirt, however, is really, really cute. They had this in a couple of different colors. I also picked it up in like the cream, like the creamy white color. But this is gorgeous. It's a brown faux leather skirt, a uh, high waist zips right down the middle. And this is the kind of thing that just you could wear with so many different things, like any kind of top, knitwear, even a nice blouse for the evening. So it's a really good versatile skirt, but this fits really nicely. And I think the two go really, really well together. It's kind of a mix between sporty spice and posh spice. Okay guys, here is the next look. And I fear that the streak of good outfits may have come to an end because I'm feeling a little bit like a nun in this dress. I'm feeling very like Maria von Trapp in The Sound of Music, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just not sure. And um, there are elements to this that I really like. Like, can you just even get over how incredibly flattering and slimming this dress is? And the reason is it's a little pinafore, but the white bits of the side kind of disappear into the background and you look like you're, this is your waist. So you look absolutely tiny. So it's a very, very nice design. And I absolutely love the sleeves. These are what drew me to the dress in the first place because I love any kind of pleats, and I just love a, like a loose flowy sleeve. I think if you wore this the right way, you could make this look cool. I'm sorry, this has to be worn with over the knee boots or it's just some kind of heel. You cannot wear this with black tights and flats because then you are going to literally look like you are off to your Sunday service. And it's just like, no, unless you are going to Sunday service. And then in fact, this would be a really, really nice stylish dress. Other than that, I think it does need some over the knee boots. It just needs to be like, kind of like funked up a little bit. Why did I just say funked? I'm literally like turning into an old person. Is anyone else finding themselves as they get older saying things that used to make them cringe when they were younger? Like funky and groovy are like two of my favorite words. And I would have literally like, killed my mum and dad for saying that when I was younger, so that's good. While I have this dress on, I just wanted to try this jacket on. Now don't hate me because I know it's a bit wild and I did say that there was nothing like that in this haul but I did forget about this. So I saw this and it's like a cape 
jacket and I actually saw this when I was in store I was just passing by and I kind of like spotted it and thought that does look really cool it has a very um Gucci style to it in fact I think Gucci does like a pretty much identical cape coat okay I mean yeah it's very kind of out there the print is very much like look at me I'm wearing logo but logo is very in and I'm not sure if this is like borderline tacky or not but I do kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie. I really like the color. And then just imagine it with the black boots and a cute bag. I do actually really like this cape. I'll link it down below for you because they also have um, like a plain brown if the logo isn't for you, but you like the shape. So I will link the plain one for you as well. But I really like it actually. I think it also has a bit of a vintage look to it, which I really like, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think I could pull this off without looking too tacky? I like to think I could, but I would be really interested to know what you guys think of this. So I know this next outfit is very basic and very plain and simple, but I do really love River Island for those staple pieces. Like first of all, a nice pair of jeans. So these are the Molly jeggings. They're like mid to high rise. Um, so really, really comfortable. And I just think they're a nice thing to have for winter because it's nice to be covered up and warm, but also nice to stick to light, bright colors rather than have to resort to black or like other dark colors like gray and stuff. I started wearing white jeans a lot more at the start of this year in winter because Josie and I went to Majeb and we just kind of like planned all our outfits to be like really pink and white. And then it just really inspired me and I started wearing them when I got home as well. And it's just really nice. They're very nice and wintry because they're kind of like snowy and you can wear them with ankle boots or even knee high boots or over the knee boots you can pull them over the top and it looks really nice especially in like brown and gray colors it looks really really good so then coming on to the jumper I really really like this I got a similar one at the start of the week from Zara but I think I do prefer this because that Zara one had like statement shoulders and statement sleeves which normally I do kind of like but I think this one just looks a little bit more classic they also had it in this gorgeous brown color which I also picked up which would obviously look equally cute with white jeans but I kind of just like that whole like white outlook. I mean imagine just like with the pink scarf. You're all in white and then you've got your pink scarf and your pink bag and like some brown over the knee boots and it is just so wintry chic. I just absolutely love it. This reminds me so much of like our Majeb outfits and which makes me just want to go back to the snow so badly. While I have this outfit on I also wanted to show you this coat. If you guys have never had the pleasure or just the privilege of seeing the River Island trench coat, then get yourselves ready. If you watched my video from last week, my autumn winter luxury staples, I told you that I love my Burberry trench coat and I think everybody should have a beautiful trench coat in their wardrobe because they are classic, they are timeless, and they're just effortlessly stylish. And honestly, the best affordable high street trench coat every single year comes from River Island and this is it. It's absolutely incredible and in many ways it's even nicer than the Burberry one because it has beautiful details that the Burberry doesn't. So this actually has tortoiseshell buttons with a little rim of gold. So here it is on, isn't it just magnificent? It's so beautiful and you could actually get away with just buying the Burberry scarf and then the whole thing looks like Burberry. I honestly can't imagine you will find a nicer trench coat than this on the high street for this price. It's just so, so timeless. It would be such an amazing thing for you guys to buy because you could just get so much wear out of it and it looks such like a luxury coat and it really, really isn't. And yeah, I just love how all of it looks. It's making me actually excited for winter. What is going on? Next, we have this super cute feminine outfit. When I first put these two on together, I was like, oh no, they don't really go together. But now actually I think they really do and I love both the top and skirt so much. This top is so beautiful. It's a pinky champagne satin, has the little keyhole in the middle and a high neck and it's cropped and it ties with a beautiful big bow at the back, which is gorgeous. And I just love the color. It's so glamorous and it feels amazing. I'm just in love with this top. I feel like I have to keep it. And then the skirt, this is the same skirt as the brown one earlier. And I actually way prefer it in this color. I think it's so, so cute. I would definitely get my wear out of this because you could wear it with pretty blouses like this, but then I'd also wear it with like, you know, for example, maybe like the camel knit or the cream jumper or just like a normal like turtleneck top. I feel like we need the Chloe bag to complete this look. Ah, oh, yes. 
the pièce de résistance. Of course, the Chloe bag makes this outfit look 10 times better because this bag makes every outfit look 10 times better. But I'm just in love with both of these. I think this skirt is like a must for autumn winter because I just think you could wear it with so many different things and you'd get a lot of wear out of it. I certainly will. And this top may not be like your most worn top in your wardrobe, but I think it's worth it because you could like double this up as a day top with something casual maybe even like jeans like white jeans but then you could also wear this in the evening with like a pleated midi skirt or something like this and heels and go for drinks and it's just beautiful and then for the final look of today's haul we have this adorable little two-piece oh my god River Island can literally do no wrong this year I'm like what is going on this is so so cute it's a little knitted two-piece and I actually think that the zip it's supposed to go at the front just because the labels at the back so I think the zipper is supposed to go at the front but maybe I'm wrong but this is such a cute outfit this is so me this is the kind of thing that I just love to wear in autumn winter because it's warm it's cozy but it's also really cute and stylish I would wear this of course with my black over the knee boots I'm sorry if you're getting tired of me saying it but I just think they go so nicely with everything that I generally like to wear. I would probably like this more if the accents were brown instead of black because I feel like it would just look a bit nicer. Brown and cream just look so nice together but the black like is okay and it's very contrasting which is really cute and it's a little like preppy as well. I love co-ords because you just look so put together and they're so easy to style. I mean all of the work has been done for you and this is just so adorable. I really want to keep this as well. This has been absolutely amazing. River Island have blown me away because um, I just love all of these outfits so much. They're all so my style, like especially this. I just feel like so cute. <laughs> So guys, that brings us to the end of the River Island haul. Really hope you liked it. I hope that I was right and you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for a brand new haul. My hauls over the weekend will be going live in the morning rather than the evening. So make sure you don't forget to make sure you turn post notifications on to remind you. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.